What a piece of junk. I'm scared of what's in there. Wagon air. Sometimes I wonder why I buy these things. But look at this. That's just normal. Quarters are rusty on the bottom. Absolutely rotten. Floor pans are rough. Basically perfect. This is the moment of truth. Maybe hauling a refrigerator and you needed like some room. Tootie Baker. Okay, then. <laughs> some type of skull. We'll set it right there. The good thing is every animal that was in this car died probably 40 years ago. Hey guys, it's time for a new project car. This time it's a 1964 Studebaker Daytona Wagon Air. This is an extremely rare car with an extremely rare set of options. We're going to get into that in a little bit, but first we got to get this thing home, take a good look at it, and then there's a bunch of research I got to do because I don't know anything about Studebakers. So this is going to be a learning experience. I think it's going to be a fun project because it has some really weird features that I think you're going to like. So let's get into it. Well, we got this thing home. We're going to take a good look at it here. Now, this thing is super rough. It's rusty on the bottom side, the rockers, the bottoms of the doors. The bottom of this door isn't too awful bad. This one's pretty, pretty rough, pretty floppy. Quarters. Quarters are rusty on the bottom, of course. Got a little bit of rust up here too, where the trim is. The hood's, the hood's in good shape, considering. Now let's see if we can get it open here. Oh. So it's still got an engine in it, a little two barrel carburetor, a bunch of leaves and sticks. Um, don't know how long it's been since this thing has run, but it's mostly complete. I see that the belt's off of it. It does still have radiator hoses hooked up. I would imagine that engine is stuck and I'll have to do a little research to see what that engine is. I think these cars had a 289 Studebaker V8. I could be wrong about that, but I'll look up that information. You can see right here, Daytona part of the emblems missing uh, then it had these emblems on here a little futuristic looking emblem and this side is really rough the doors are just absolutely rotten front and back quarters quarters are rotten you know there's not a whole lot there but the roof on this thing the roof and the windows are in pretty good shape Let's look inside here. So floors obviously are bad, but look at this. This is a floor shifted manual transmission. So this is a factory V8 with a manual transmission. So let's look at this plate right here. Studebaker Corporation 64V44II. So we'll look that up and see exactly what that means. I'm assuming that means it's a 64 model but we'll see, we'll find out what it means. But look at all this, you got all these electrical switches and things, very futuristic car for the 1960s. Um, and just having that floor shifter, and this is a fiberglass tunnel cover. So, you know, there's no, this was not a column shifted car. There is no spot for a column shifter anywhere. So this is a factory floor shifted V8 station wagon super rare piece this is something that you know we're gonna have to do some research to see how many of these were built it can't be very many because this car has a very special feature that we're going to show you in just a minute that makes it even more rare as far as the engine is concerned it does look like somebody's put a fuel filter on it at some point it probably wouldn't have had a fuel filter on it originally um, if we look at these numbers one five five four six four one That'll allow us to look up and see what this engine is. I'm assuming it's a 289, but I could be wrong. So inside of this thing's pretty rough. I mean, this is not salvageable. That really just needs to be taken off of there, but it's got a good armrest. Window cranks are intact. Floor pans are rough, but they're still, I mean, even though they're rusty, I mean, they're not really soft. You could, you could patch that very easily. You can see up under here, all the heater, all that stuff is still in place. The Studebaker radio is in place. This car came with a key, which is super handy as far as 
you know, trying to get this thing running again. You can see the gauges are intact. But the main thing, the cool factor on this car, floor shifted manual transmission. This fiberglass tunnel cover is a really interesting piece. It fits properly. It's got all the, you know, matching bolt holes. Everything is, seems to be pretty legit, but I've never seen anything like it. Floor shifted with a bench seat. This seat probably would clean up pretty good. It's got a, you know, pretty good rip there. She might be able to patch that up. Um, the other door panel is pretty rough. Dash, this dash pad is cracked, but this thing has a fully padded dash. That's pretty rare for 1964. Um, let's see if we can get this glove box open. Let's see what kind of treasure is hiding in there. is not wanting to come unlatched. There it goes. Okay. Let's see what is hiding in here. Hopefully not anything venomous. Whoa, what do we got here? We've got cup holders, custom cup holders. They say the Black Horse Tavern. There's no kind of actual glove box in there, but what is this? Ooh, I'm scared. I'm scared of what's in there. What in the world? It's a, like a glove box inside of a glove box. Oh, it's like a little place for your, for your valuable papers. It's got a piece of glass. A mirror. Now that is interesting. So that just slides right back in there. Huh. Well, that's cool. There's no paperwork whatsoever, which is a little bit disappointing, but still cool to see these, you know, that somebody years ago, many, many years ago, was using this station wagon on road trips and who knows what. Such a cool piece. Still got the sun visors, but there is no headliner to speak of that's to be expected on a car like this so let's look in the back doors open and shut pretty good this is actually very salvageable i don't know what's happening here but you could straighten that up and make that into something but the armrest is in pretty sad shape the back seat uh looks to be basically perfect it just needs to be cleaned the back floorboards are very good I mean, they're, they're, you know, they're not perfect, but they're very good. Got an extra piece of trim here. Got an ashtray. Let's see if there's anything in there. Nope, I think it's stuck. Yeah. But all the trim, you know, the back or the back of the front seat is in pretty good shape. It's got seat belts in it still. Man, this thing is surprisingly good to be so rotten on the outside. The insides are pretty good. The glass is in good shape. But you can see the way these these door posts attach. They're just bolted in. So they're, they're, they kind of have a little bit of a wiggle to them. But the open and shut good. I can't believe how good that works. It is a shame that the windshield's busted. That's kind of sad because all the other glass is so good. But lots of good metal up here aside from obviously where the battery was that's just normal it has a dual reservoir master cylinder which is interesting to me it has a mechanical mechanically operated clutch so no hydraulic clutch this is for the front and rear of the brakes which is pretty pretty big stuff for 1964 i don't know if that's a factory piece or not the old hood is in good shape. The roof is cool. And I've been waiting to tell you guys about this, but you gotta see this. This is the coolest part of the car, hands down. No doubt, the coolest station wagon that I think I've ever seen. So this is called a Wagon Air. Still got the cool emblem, Wagon Air. Studebaker with this wide piece of chrome. And under here is a keyhole. 
And when you turn this, it has a, I'm pretty sure it has a power window. I don't know that yet. And this window goes down and then you can open up, you know, you can open up the tailgate like you normally would. It's hinged at the bottom, just like a normal station wagon. But what's not normal is this sliding roof. That right there, that whole panel slides into the front part of the roof. So that, all of that can open up and just be open air. Now, in the 1960s, this could have just been a gimmick, you know, a sales gimmick, but I can't think of any practical reasons you'd want this to slide in there unless you were maybe hauling a refrigerator and you needed like some room. Uh, I don't know but it makes for a very cool, extremely rare car. And like all this trim is there, these trim pieces, I mean, that's gotta be impossible to find. The back glass is in great shape. Tailgate is rotted. You know, not much saving that. It's loose on the bottom. The door skin has come loose, but the back bumper is cool. And look at this, still has the mud flap on it still has a mud flap they probably you know that was probably some kind of a little factory upgrade option that somebody paid a few bucks for amazing that it's still hanging in there i, I can't understand how it's still surviving and not completely rotted out but tail lights are in good shape these little housings i mean they're pitted but they're there and i mean just where else are you going to find this trim these door handles all this trim around the windows everything on this thing the, the mirror it's pitted but it's there so it's this is an extremely rare piece and i just can't believe how complete it is so i guess that extra trim piece in the back actually goes to this so we may be able to patch that back up uh, tell me what it says again tuda baker tuda baker the s is gone so now it's just a tutti baker Okay. What a piece of junk. Phew. Sometimes I wonder why I buy these things. Oh. Hey there, little fella. Oh. This back seat is basically perfect. It, the upholstery looks good. It'll clean up good. No. But the cool thing about it is it flips forward. This flips down. And you have all this room for stuff. Let's see if I can flip forward. Oh, oh. Very stiff. Oh my. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Well, Ew. Nothing's alive, I don't think. There's a lug wrench over here. Oh, yep. There's some activity. Okay. Wow. Lug wrench and the biggest bunch of rats' nests. Oh, and roaches roaches big ones roughly roughly that big i'm not getting close enough to video that yeah oh there he is oh dear. there he is yeah get him get where him. right there right there i'm not exaggerating on my size profile there no oh, he's, he's going away ah, okay yeah yep, uh -huh. uh-huh okay okay i'm done okay then <laughs> okay peace out <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about Studebakers. I came across the Studebaker National Museum. Now I was actually just there in South Bend, Indiana, just, uh, what, two months ago while I was on the Great Race. What I didn't know is that they have all of the records of basically every Studebaker that was ever sold. So if you send them your VIN, they'll send you the original build sheet or I think they call it production order so it'll show you what options it had, what color it was. We're gonna open it up right now. So what does this say here? 64 VP8 4258. That says day eight wagon air. Midnight black. It's still actually black, so that's cool. Four speed floor transmission. That's what I was curious about right there. Four speed manual transmission with a floor shifter that is the coolest option this thing has 289 cubic inch v8 they also sold a 259 cubic inch 
Uh, it came from the factory with dual exhaust, white wall tires, electric rear window, climatizer. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming that's some type of uh, maybe air conditioning? Surely not, but maybe it had air conditioning. Uh, radio, uh, wheel disc, that means hubcap. Electric windows, undercoating, seat belts, and then it says sold rush. I don't know if that just means hurry up and get it done because somebody custom ordered this. I'm assuming that's what that means because I don't think they would have made a whole bunch of these. And that's one thing that we don't necessarily have our production numbers. That's something that is a tough one because it's, I don't think there's any records out there that are broken down by station wagons with the 289, with the four speed, with, you know, all these different options. But this is super cool to have this documentation right here. And let's see, let's go ahead and look at the other information. So, this production order was just $33. So you pay the Studebaker National Museum, 33 bucks. They print that out and send it to you. Extremely valuable piece of information on the car. Then for an additional $33, they will send you every available record that they have from their network of dealerships and things that were across the country. So here is the uh, dealership that sold that station wagon right there, Graham Brothers Motors in Macon, Georgia. I love that they have all of this stuff available and that it's very affordable. Um, I don't think that it's adding a whole lot of value to our cars because our cars are so rough, but it's fun. It's fun to do this research and to find this type of information. So I wanted to share it with you. I think it's cool. I hope you think it's cool too. So as I was researching this piece of junk, there's actually some pretty firm production numbers out there for some of these rare Studebakers like this. So out of all 1964 production, they only made 5,231 station wagons in general, like all of 1964 across all the different models, 5,231. Of those, there was 1,543 produced with the Daytona Wagon Air trim level and those had a V8 engine. Now, where it gets a little trickier, where we can't actually zero in on the actual production numbers, is that that's just V8. And you could get two V8s in 1964. You could get a 259, which was standard, and you could get a 289, which is what this car came with. It's already going to be a little more rare because it doesn't have the standard engine in it. Well, then the transmission is where it really gets tough because... Who knows how many four-speed station wagons were built. This thing had to be extremely rare. And when you consider all the different options like dual exhaust and black exterior paint, red interior, I mean, this thing has got to be a super rare car. So we're back over here at the shop. I couldn't give up on this thing just yet. I wanted to be able to show you guys how that roof works. I realize I told you how it works, but I want to actually, for my own curiosity, I want to see how it works. So. What I'm gonna to try to do, don't know if this is gonna work, this is just an experiment, but I'm gonna hook up some booster cables. Mm. Here's the old Nova. Yeah. Don't look under the hood. Don't look under the hood. Things have changed since the last time you've seen this. We haven't told you about it yet, so it's a surprise. Sorry. Don't look under the hood. Sorry. So anyways, we're gonna hook up the battery <laughs> of the old Nova to these battery cables. It actually has, uh, somebody has worked on this thing. Look at that, brand new battery cable. Or yeah. right, well, the terminal, the cable itself is old. Anyways, I'm gonna hook up these booster cables to this. Hopefully, that's gonna give us some juice. We need the juice because that rear window is electric. Mm. So, we need to be able to, inside of here, there's a switch. You're, you're back there, I'm over here. Uh, I know. There's a switch right here that says up and down, and I can only imagine that that is the rear window, up and down. But it, it doesn't, oh, there it goes, there it goes. Okay. Okay, it's very crunchy. But. That's a good sign. So, we're gonna try to use this. If just putting power to it 
doesn't allow this to work, then we'll have to dig a little deeper. We'll have to rip some wires out, try to just hot wire the switch or hot wire the, the electric motor back here. Um, but the idea is to get this glass to go down and then open the tailgate and then we can put this thing in there and it'll be cool. That's the whole point of buying this thing. Just stick with me, guys. I'm going to get these untangled. Stick with me. Hang on. Here we, nope, not yet. Four hours go. later, still got going. It. We got it. Yeah! Okay, don't look under the hood. Oh, sorry. So we're going to put the red one on the red. That seems to make the most sense. <laughs> negative on the negative. 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 And then positive that, on right the there. positive. Or try not to like make them touch and weld each other together. What happened? The starter made the noise. Okay. It's not going to do it now. No. It's because I'm over here now. Yeah, now you're here. It's not going to do it. It was a big truck. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. So. It made a noise, which means that there is some juice flowing, which is a good thing. Let's try this switch. Go ahead, go back there, and let's see if something happens. Okay. We're ready. Nothing. Nope. Okay. I forgot a pretty major part of this. I didn't have the ignition switch on or on accessory or anything. It was off. So, maybe. 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 This will go down. Go back there and take a look. Okay, we'll see. Nope. Let's try just anything. Let's try anything in the world and see if anything in the world works. Anything in the world. Do I have headlights? Probably not. No. So we may have a bad ground or something like that. Because we got nothing. We've got no no juice for anything at all. Okay, we put battery in it. And now we're getting a good solid click out of the solenoid. Let's see if it does anything. Let me put this back on. Ah. Nope. Still nothing? Mm-mm. Try something else. Uh, let's try wipers. Nope. Got a horn. We got a horn. That's good. So far, that's the only thing that works. I was really hopeful that was gonna work. I wanna honk it. <laughs> honk. It's the only thing that works. Uh, there's a thousand reasons why that this thing won't work, but this is the easiest one to access. At least we got the horn. We got a horn. We do have a horn. So let's take this out. <clears throat> let's see. Anything wrong with it? It doesn't appear to be chewed up. Sad. All right, we're just gonna stick that back in there. Yeah. It don't act like it's the right key. Uh, and you were so wanting to ride the soccer practice in it, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I'm not gonna make it this time. I'm gonna fold the seat down so watch your leg there. First, we have to raise this one up. Oh, goodness. That's, uh... That's a lot of rat's nests. Oh, I think I see a skull over here. Come come over here, let's see. No. Yes. I see it. What, this? Yeah, I see that. Yeah, that's a skull. That's a... Some type of skull. We'll set it right there. Um, what else? We got, hey, look at that love wrench. <laughs> we were just talking about that. Yeah, but we got we got one already. 
Okay. Um, we'll leave, leave the rest of that. Now we'll fold this forward. Um, actually, there's a little tab over there. Can you see it? Right. That little tab thing? Mm -hmm. You kind of have to bend it that way, I think. Okay. Go. Okay. Nice. Good job. Okay. Apparently the seat just fell apart. You just broke the seat. Yeah. Good so. job. <coughs> well they made rat they made rats nests too. Yeah, they had lots of lots of housing options in this thing. They okay. had a town here. I really getting in this is freaking me out a little bit. Everything's so rusty, crusty, <laughs> gross. You're gonna okay. You're gonna fall through it. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> okay, that releases the latch. Very so nice. We're in good shape there. But what we can't do is lower the window. Ooh. This, that's pretty nice. Do they have them on the other side? Those used to be chrome, yeah. And then they put some kind of wallpaper. You see that? Those, I don't know if you can see that. You see it? Back here? The wallpaper? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see that. Some nice, some nice details. The good thing is every animal that was in this car died probably 40 years ago, so. We didn't no, invade no anybody. getting bitten. And we didn't invade anybody's privacy, so we're good. <laughs> okay, I'm in dear old dad's shop because we don't have room for this car at my house. <laughs> and look at all these screwdrivers. Look at all this. What and not one is what I need. I'm not even one. I mean, look at this. These things are all... Oh, I could probably actually use that. I don't... Okay. So many. Oh, there's some more. All I need is a Phillips... Phillips head that's halfway decent. Just decent. That's all I'm looking for here. Let's try these. And the big guy. Alright. Don't hurt yourself. Okay. We're going to try the caveman version first. Which is just prying on this. Let's see if we can get it to move. Oh, I saw it with move. brute force. Well, yeah, it's moving a little bit. But it's not. It would help if this wasn't so rusty and I could actually pry against it. But what I'm afraid of is we're gonna keep prying on this and it's gonna break something. If we break that back glass, we're in big trouble. I don't wanna get in here, but we gotta yeah. see. Well, it's what they make the zoom for. Usually these cars, I mean, this thing's rusty, obviously. But usually I would say that these cars rust out really bad because mm -hmm. of the way this roof is set up. It probably leaks and gets all of this wet down here. It's still a little bit creepy to be back here though. I know. Because we're trapped. Like if something jumped out. We like, can't get you out. got me? Yeah. Yeah. We can't get out. We'd have to struggle to get out. We would struggle to get out and probably hurt each other. Let's see if we can get this to work this thing out. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man, that thing is heavy. That's a good piece of metal. But I mean, I feel like you can use that as a floor pan. Okay. Well, we got plenty of wires. Let's go ahead and take this other one off since it came off so easy. Yeah. Ooh. That felt like a little moment of success there. <laughs> Somebody has replaced a screw on this thing. I cannot believe that this car is not all original. Look at that. That's not an original screw. I'm very upset about it. Okay. This. Um. Ugh. We're having a little party back here. Okay. All right. Here's the other one. All right. Our solution now. Probably not a solution, but it's the next thing we're going to try is removing the electric motor 
because I feel like that's what's holding us back here. And luckily, because this stuff, the bottom of this door or this tailgate is so rusted out, the uh, whatever you want to call this, the support for the window motor is really floppy, and that allows us to get this ratchet in there. that noise? What? It's mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <This is> weird. <laughs> You're just sitting there and going mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Alright, I got two. I got two out of there. Let's see if we can get through. This is working great. I can't believe how easily this is unbolting. And probably what's gonna happen is when I get this unbolted, it's gonna like, the window's gonna fall and shatter everywhere. And then we're gonna all get like cut and rip. Yeah, we'll be going to the hospital. Uh-oh, dropped the bolt. Oh no, where'd it go? I have no idea. Great, good job. Okay, time to get the screwdriver out. Scooty back in. There could be a. Oh, we got we got action now. Oh yeah, this is gonna work. Pretty sure we're in business. I'm gonna break something first. It's probably okay. gonna slide out of place. It's gonna slide for sure. Do you have it on wide angle? Just curious. No. Go ahead and put it on wide angle. Okay, I got it. Good. All right. This is the moment of truth. Major milestone moment. Yeah. And this car's history. It's going. It's going down. I can see it. There's skylight coming, coming down. Okay, the motor is loose. The motor is completely loose. We should have full range of motion now. I see skylight coming through. It's working. It's working. Here it comes. Mm -hmm. We've got some activity right here. This is what we need. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We're doing it now. Still so tight. I don't know what's causing it to hang up. Um. Almost there. So close. It's it, the motor or the gear is actually still. I took the motor out, but the gear is hung yeah. in the gears. to go on a little bit more. Yeah, it's gotta come down far enough to get to. Would grease do anything? It up in you. Okay, okay. Let's go back yeah. down. Oh. Okay, now let's do it again. Oh, you're higher. Woo! That's nice. Into the truck. Okay. Now let's see what's gonna happen up there. Are you, are you recording? Mm hmm Good. Close. I think I went the wrong way. It's, ma it's making noises, but I don't know what it's doing. Well, uh, it probably don't crank yet. It probably just unlocks it and slide it in. Good. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Woo! Oh. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! 
back here. Yes. There we go. Yes. Hell. That's what we're Okay. That's what I'm here to do. So, did you think that we were going to be able to get this thing opened up like this? Nope. Were you losing hope in dear old dad? Yes. But here we go. We got this thing opened up. Open air station wagon. Wagon air is what it's called. That's his actual name. This is so cool. This is totally worth the effort to get the window down, get the tailgate open. Slide the roof. What are you trying to do there? Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're gonna fall through. But this is worth it right here for this moment. Yes, boom, perfection right here. Got Dad's the party. got the thing opened up. Only thing that would make it cooler is if that panel was still there to make that totally flat. That would be better. But this is a major yeah. victory to get this thing opened. Now we're probably gonna just. Get this thing ready no. to sell. What no. do you think? Do we need to sell it or do we need to keep working on it? We need to sell it. That is a good idea. That's good thinking. What do you think we could get out of this beautiful, extremely rare car? How much money do you think this thing's worth? Just just give me a round number. Any number. Two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. Two thousand, three thousand, four thousand? Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yep. Yeah. It's probably more than what it's really worth, but proud of your optimism. So anyways, this was a huge victory to be able to get this thing opened up. We, now we just need to get some tires and wheels on it, or we just need to sell it. Just sell it. Just sell it. Just sell it. Yes. I like the way you think. It's way easier just to sell it and move on to the next project. But this thing is super cool, even though it's a pile of junk. It's a cool pile of junk. You do have good judgment. I have good judgment. So, and good there ideas. it is. You can haul refrigerators, washers, and dryers. Um, let's see. Maybe a bush, a big tall bush. Tree. A, a Christmas tree. Christmas tree. That's what we need to do. Yes. Christmas it's tree. It's going to be Christmas in no time. Christmas we tree. need to put a giant Christmas tree in this Christmas thing. Christmas tree. That's it for now. Yeah. Check back later. We'll have a Christmas tree poking out of the roof. Yes. The next time you see this, it'll be. Christmas tree will be poking out of the roof. I did. See you later. Bye.